Can you touch a little bit on what it takes to split up a huge, enormous multinational company like this? I mean, talk a little bit about what it takes to wrangle talent and morale during this process. Mm. Well, it is a big process, um, and uh, what we did at a very early point in time, I put a project team together that uh, was entirely focused only on the separation. I wanted to make sure that the distraction uh, to the, the folks that run the business is as small as possible. It's still there. It's still there because a lot of people are affected by it. The same, at the same time, what, uh, what I wanted, talking about the morale, I wanted to make sure that uh, the people w would know at a very early point in time where they would be going. This really is, was clear from the start on for roughly about, I would say, 90% of the employees because they knew that they were working at a facility or working on a product that either is on the value add side or on the commodity side. The real issue was on those kind of shared functions. And what we did uh, even before the holiday season last year, I mean, we, we basically went, I think, down uh, to the third layer and were able to tell everybody down to the third layer where they would be going. This, Even though they would still have the time until now where they would be working in their previous capacity right that's I mean but I wanted them to know you know where are you going because particularly in the time when you have a little time to reflect and I didn't yeah. want them to to not know that they have a spot so know? communication started early and it was very comprehensive yes it wasn't just communication but also hammering it out we had a clear a clear strategy on how we make sure that it is a fair distribution of talent but it worked I, I would say it worked very very well right now of course breaking up is always expensive and already hundreds of millions of dollars have been spent on the split. Where does most of that money go exactly? Well, um, first of all, we did a benchmark on uh, on uh, how how expensive uh, these splits are, and and I'm extremely uh, happy to see where we've come in. I mean, we've come in substantially on the lower end of of this. Part of it also was because most of the work had been done internally, right? Through the project team that we put together, we had a little bit outside help of people that have experience with this, but most of it has been done internally. What are the biggest issues there, and what where where, where most of the money goes I mean most of the money goes into IT these days right mm -hmm. it's one of the most complicated things because you literally you literally copy two IT system because you have a, an accounting system logistics system and all of these things are one and you have to separate them you know and I'm particularly proud as a as an example for how 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 this has been done in an intelligent way that with most vendors the contracts didn't change because usually you would say you know you have a small amount that you buy but we were able to negotiate so well that the prices didn't go up oh. All right, so you kept prices down. Yes. Now, what are the biggest risks, from your view, to the separation? And if the price of aluminum rebounds, do you think you could regret the split? No, I, I, I don't. I would not wish nothing more, you know, than the price of commodities to go up for our, our cooperation colleagues. I mean, it's a very low pricing environment. It is. It would be fantastic for for all of them to see this. We've restructured our core cooperation so it's low on the cost curve. So every every dollar the price is higher, it would be a dollar more profit. Right. On top of it, I mean, there's also a bit of a selfish view on it because we retain a 19.9 percent interest as Arconic in. in our co cooperation. The idea is to monetize that, you know, um, and that would also help to um, to get the debt structure on our conic right. down, right? Uh, but in terms of the focus of both companies, I mean, one is a commodity company, the other one is an innovation company with a strong focus on getting productivity and costs mm -hmm. down. Very different profiles, very different profiles.